Welcome. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to, when given sine of theta equals 2 thirds, find the rest of the trigonometric functions. So remember, to finally evaluate for the rest of my trigonometric functions, I need to know all the sides of a triangle. So let's take a look at what sine of theta of 2 thirds is going to give us. So remember, sine, the trigonometric ratio for sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So therefore, in this triangle, I have my opposite side will be 2, and my hypotenuse is 3, as this is going to be theta, and there's going to be my right triangle. So to determine the rest of my trigonometric functions, I need to be able to find my adjacent side. So to do that, I'm going to have to use Pythagorean theorem. Now, our Pythagorean theorem, remember, says states that a squared plus b squared, which are your two legs of your right triangle, equals your c squared, which would be your hypotenuse. So in this case, I have a squared plus 2 squared equals 3 squared. So I have a squared plus 4 equals 9 minus 4. a squared equals 5. Square root, both sides, a equals the square root of 5. All right? So therefore, in this triangle, what we're going to have is we're going to have the square root of 5. Now, to evaluate for the rest of my trigonometric functions, if I know sine is 2 thirds, very easily we can now determine what the reciprocal of that angle, which would be which would be 3 halves. Now dealing with the cosine, instead of opposite over adjacent, I'm going to deal with adjacent, I'm sorry, opposite over hypotenuse. I'm now going to have adjacent over hypotenuse, as that's the ratio for cosine. So it's square root of 5 over 3. Now when I deal with the secant of theta, which is the reciprocal of cosine, I'm going to have 3 over square root of 5. When I, when I rationalize the denominator, I get 3 radical 5 over 5. Therefore, now let's go last on to tan. Now, the ratio for tangent, remember, is opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be 2 over radical 5. Again, you have to rationalize the denominator. So therefore, you get 2 divided by radical 5 over 5. And then cotangent, which is the reciprocal identity of that, is going to simply be the square root of 5 divided by 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you evaluate your six trigonometric functions. Thanks.